Hey guys! So if you're new to my channel, welcome! I make videos related to college tips, college life and college admissions. Do check out these videos as well. So today I thought I'd do something new and it's creating a series called Reading My Essays that got me into what college. I'll be posting this Reading My Essays videos every other week and between those videos I'll be posting my usual a little bit random ones. Okay, so today I'm talking about what essays got me into the University of California. If you watched my first video about where I applied and what my results were, you may have noticed that I applied to only three UC campuses, UC Berkeley, UCLA, and UC Davis. I was admitted to all of them. So what exactly made my UC application so successful? I will address it in a future video, but today I'm going to talk about one of the most in important parts of a college application, which is your personal essays. Now, the UC application system requires you to submit four essays out of the four different prompts. They give you uh, eight options, pick four of them. And since I do not want to bore you guys too much by saying all four of them at once, today I'll be reading two of my essays, so this is part one. And next time, I'll be reading the other two, which will become part two. Alright then, let's get started. So UC application essays have only a 350 word limit compared to like Common App which has 650 word limit. 350 is kind of limited space to write, it's pretty short. But since I got admitted, I am assuming that my essays managed to show my personalities well. So here's the first one. I've got a laptop. Uh, sorry, I didn't print this out because I wrote everything on my laptop and it's not electronic, I didn't have time to print this out. Anyway, so here's prompt number one. Describe an example of your leadership experience in which you have positively influenced others, helped resolve disputes, or contributed with group efforts over time. And here's my essay. I'll read it first and then I'll analyze what is going on there. Okay. It started out as a typical math class in a science club. As head of the math club sector, I had just finished teaching the class about integer parity and was about to demonstrate the application of integer parity in the form of a math card trick, a specialty of the math sector. Yet, out of nowhere, a scuffle had started between two students that immediately escalated into a shouting match, then a physical fight. The entire class was stunned into silence. From where I was standing, I saw the bigger and older boy trying to strangle the younger one. I had to stop this. Helped by the vice head of the math sector, we were finally able to get him to stop fighting with a few failed attempts. However, the smaller boy had been reduced to tears and ran off without saying a word. The bigger one simply exited the room. Since the club was student-run but school-based, this incident had to be reported to the school principal. However, everybody else, including the club president, thought that this was a bad idea. The bigger boy was popular. Nobody wanted to get on his bad side by reporting him. Some people were already telling me, don't make a mountain out of a molehill, or don't go playing the hero. I was disappointed by their reactions. Someone could get hurt in such a fight. I thus reasoned with the president and other club members to report this incident, since it was our responsibility to keep the club running safely. After much deliberation, a decision was reached to bring the incident to the awareness of a school principal. As it turned out, there weren't any grave consequences to the club regarding this incident, and the two boys were given a warning by the principal. The principal thanked us for bringing light to this matter as with this and the warning issued, the school would become a safer place for everyone. I understood that the popular opinion was not always right. However, with a group effort, such incidents could be prevented in the future. This essay is exactly 250 words long, which is uh, pretty risky actually, but then I, as I said earlier, 250 words is really short, so there's nothing much to say. Anyway, so since the question was asking about example of leadership experience, I'm pretty confident that this answered the prompt. It's basically about me being a best president of that club and then trying to do the right thing even though people thought it was wrong. So I guess that this must have sat well with them. Okay, so now we're going to prompt number two. The prompt is, every person has a creative side and it can be expressed in many ways, problem solving, original and innovative thinking, and artistically to name a few. Describe how you express your creative side. And here's the essay. I feel like I want to play piano now. Like, right now. I told my mother as I entered the house. 
I was still wearing my school uniform and carrying my heavy school bag. Okay, said she, play. I placed my bag by the staircase and went to play the piano. I was feeling particularly energetic that day, so I started playing the third movement of Beethoven's Tempest Sonata. It was one of my favourite pieces. Its character is highly spirited, soothing the mood I was in. Yes, I often have these seemingly random impulses to immediately play the piano, yet it is not as random as people may think. I started playing the piano when I was 3 years old. At first, I didn't much like the piano since I wasn't good at it. Yet, as I grew older, my talent in music started to surface. Being more competitive than I was before, during my primary years, I slowly began to give piano a chance. Growing up, I started realizing that piano music is not simply about pressing the keys. Yes, the notes are important, but they only make up the logical part of the piano. Once I mastered that, I realized that the most important part is the emotional part, the right brain oriented part. With this revelation, I found that piano was a way to express how I feel. It's a vehicle for me to channel my emotions. I am not a particularly graceful or feminine person, yet with piano, I am able to channel that side of me. Thus, my desires to play the piano in seemingly random times actually stem from this. When I was feeling particularly happy or angry, I'll play the piano. If I was getting bored with whatever I was doing, I'll play the piano. As Frederick Chopin once said, I tell my piano the things I used to tell you. Piano is my way of expressing my creativity. I grew up with piano music. It expresses who I am. Piano does makes me a person. Uh, that was the end of this one. When I wrote this, I actually had a lot of fun with it because I am a musician, pianist, quite advanced pianist actually. And since piano is an art, it's music, I feel that this must have answered the question correctly, asking about my creative side. And the thing that I may have succeeded here is how bringing that piano music is both left brain and right brain. And I think that this mindset is pretty creative and that's how. So those were two of my music essays that got me emitted. I'll be posting two more next two weeks. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll be posting more college videos in the future. And please comment and leave your thoughts below whether you thought my essays were a bit weird or if you have any questions about writing essays in general, please leave a comment. I would like to hear what you think. This is Kat signing off for now. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.